In A New Hope, we see a group of Imperial leaders discussing the end of the Imperial Senate, the power of the Death Star, and more with Grand Moff Tarkin and Darth Vader. Most of the room remains silent for the meeting, but because this is Star Wars, they all have names and at least a little backstory. So in this video, we're going to go over everyone who was present at that meeting. This will be mostly from canon, but when I have to, I'll use legend sources. Of course, we have Vader and Tarkin, who I think most people are at least somewhat familiar with, so let's start with the most vocal of the group, Admiral Conan Antonio Mahdi, who should win some sort of award for most pompous, stuffy name ever. He was in charge of the entire Imperial Navy, and was at one point a professional rival of Tarkin himself. He was a member of the Joint Chiefs, and was on the Death Star when it was destroyed. Next, we have General Cassio Tag. He was in a similar position as Mahdi, except in the Army instead of the Navy. He was more skeptical of the power of the Death Star, and was not on board when it was destroyed. For his accurate assessment of the Rebel threat, he was promoted to Grand General. But when he failed to recognize a threat within the Empire itself, a threat which was thwarted by Darth Vader, he was demoted to serve under Vader, who promptly executed him. Sitting next to Tag was Chief Moradmin Bast. He kept his mouth shut in the meeting, but spoke up during the Battle of Yavin, encouraging Grand Moff Tarkin to evacuate the station. He was chastised and then killed in the explosion. Over next to Mahdi, fans of the Clone Wars will recognize Wolf Yularen. He served as an admiral aboard the flagship of Anakin Skywalker during the Clone Wars. When the Galactic Republic became the Galactic Empire, he also transitioned himself from the Navy to the Imperial Security Bureau with the rank of Colonel. By the time of the Battle of Yavin, he retained a high position in the ISB and was killed in the Death Star's destruction. Major Cass was an aide to Grand Moff Tarkin, who was present for the meeting. He was also the officer to inform Tarkin that the rebel base on Dantooine had been abandoned some time ago, and like most of the others, he died in the Battle of Yavin. Very little is known about General Romati other than his name, so now is the time we'll have to start using legends to fill in the gaps. In Legends, he served under Tarkin as the Chief of Battle Station Operations, and was killed on the Death Star, which is likely still true in canon. This guy doesn't even have a name in canon, but if he is ever named, he will likely keep the one he had in Legends, which was High General Trek Moloch. He worked under General Tag as the Death Star's Army Operations Chief, and died on the station. And because we've come this far, why don't we talk about the two Death Star troopers that stood guard in the room? On the right was Tagus Derman, and outside of a name, there isn't much information on him. But on the left was Nova Still, who was apparently Force-sensitive. When Alderaan was destroyed, the Trimmer and the Force knocked him unconscious. He and some other Imperials decided to defect and escape the Death Star during the Battle of Yavin, but he was killed during the attempt. So yeah, I doubt that will ever be made canon, but I do think the basic Legends information regarding Romati and Moloch could be considered accurate. That's it for today. Please subscribe, like, and share to see new Star Wars videos every weekday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.